Well, my second attempt at making the perfect backpacking fiddle has started. I have started the process of reshaping this old violin. No, actually it's not old, it's a cheap Chinese violin. Um, I'm about to cut that scroll off. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, step one is completed. Basically removed the outsides of the bouts and the scroll. Um, step two will be to do some sanding and then to cut some new or fit some new elliptical ribs on the four bouts. That'll take a little bit of time. So here's the fiddle. Um, the bridge, it's gonna need a new bridge. It's, the bridge isn't quite right. And my intention right now is to probably do a little bit of drilling on the tailpiece just to remove a little bit of weight. I know it'd be very little. Drill on the chin rest and also trim it right there where it, it comes over the side. Um, and I'll probably, and I'm thinking about, even though these are ebony pegs about drilling them a little bit. I'll probably trim that a little bit as well, or trim it some more. But the, the sides are, um, actually, you know, some nice maple that I got from a friend who's a violin maker and wants to remain nameless in this project. Um, but, Oh yeah, I guess the other thing I did here was I trimmed off the um, fingerboard just because I don't ever play higher than a high D anyway, so the rest of it never gets used. Um, I was kind of surprised when I did it because this is a student version, a student violin, um, that, that it was real ebony. Um, so I'm going to keep that. You know, it's, a, it's useful for making nuts and whatnot. So uh, I'll give you a sample of the sound and, and the the bow that I, I would be using on the trail is this one half bow. It's just about the same length as the fiddle. It is the same length as the fiddle if the scroll was still on the fiddle, but I cut the scroll off. So it's actually just a touch longer than the fiddle. Um, it's a very, very poor quality uh, student bow but it's what I would be carrying. So I uh, got the sides onto the backpacking fiddle and they're just raw wood right now, uh, you know, maple, of course, but um, I haven't figured out what, yet what I'm gonna do if I'm, I've thought about just staining them black um, rather than try to match them to the, um, the varnish and the stain of the fiddle. But um, I strung it up just to see if it was gonna sound okay, if it was if it was worth putting more work into. And uh, actually I'm pretty happy with the way it sounds. I'll give you a, a little bit of a sample of that. So I also meant to mention uh, earlier that as is right now, as is, the fiddle weighs 15.1 um, ounces. <clears throat> the last time I built a backpacking fiddle, uh, it's actually this one right here, the cigar box fiddle. Um, I think the tune I played on it to demo it was Nail the Catfish to the Tree. <clears throat> I think I'll, I'll play that same one again. I'll be using a foam pad instead of a shoulder rest.
So, <clears throat> you know, it's not horrible. I think um, it's very playable. I think I can sit out in the woods uh, and play this and enjoy it, um, which I wasn't really able to do with the cigar box fiddle I built. It just, the sound was too thin. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, I, I cut these bouts. Um, I still have them. I kept them. I don't know why. But, um, you know, I played this fiddle a little bit. It, it's just a cheap student fiddle. And I played it a little bit just to kind of get a sense of what it, what it was like before I cut it to see, you know, how much difference that made. Obviously, what I'm trying to do is have it be a smaller profile, just less bulky and easier to pack and carry. And also, you know, glad to lose some weight. So it's kind of interesting how trimming the bouts has changed the sound. The sound is, you know, it's lost some projection and it's lost um, a bit of focus. It, you know, it's just, it's more disparate or, or spread. Um, I mean, it's definitely a significant uh, degradation in the sound of the fiddle, which, you know, would be expected, but um, kind of an interesting, in interesting observation anyway. But um, the next step, of course, is to do something with these sides and, you know, the finish, finish the, the last little things I can do to lighten it up. You know, if I can get it below 15 ounces, I'm really going to like that best. So the backpacking fiddle is completed. Um, the final touches were, of course, to stain and varnish the ribs or the sides to somewhat match. Um, I drilled out the tailpiece, I drilled out the chin rest and trimmed it a little bit. Um, I also shortened the pegs and drilled them out. And I think it's about as, I don't remember if, if I had already cut the fingerboard last time I made a video or not, but anyway, that's cut short, obviously. Um, I think it's about as light as I can get it um, on my scale. It comes in at, let's see, I think it was 14.2, yeah, 14.2 ounces. So, you know, not bad. And what I have to protect it when I'm on the trail are a couple of pieces of foam that'll be packed around the bridge. And there's one, and I just dropped the other one. Yeah, another one. So that'll kind of keep the bridge safe. And then this is a, a piece of foam that I'll use as a shoulder rest to put on, underneath and on the back side. Over here, I've got a stuff sack that I made with a little bit of, of closed cell padding at the bottom. There's a channel here to put the bow in. The bow's a half size bow, so I would normally be playing with what's called a four quarter or four four bow, but this is a half size bow um, chosen because it's the same length as the fiddle basically. So it all fits into this stuff sack. Altogether, it comes out to 17 ounces. So, you know, I wish it was lighter, <laughs> of course, like I wish everything was lighter, but um, I think it's okay. Next time I have a chance um, to do an overnighter and the weather is a little bit warm, then I'll definitely take it and see. But overall, I'm pleased. I think it plays nicely. It sounds reasonably okay. And I don't need, I don't know how I can get the weight lower than it is. So there it is. If you have any ideas for how to make it even lighter, I'm glad to hear them.